in this question we have to find the relative pricing at different points of time. Now uh, the first statement here says that Abdul lost money in the transactions. Therefore, definitely there is a drop of price from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. because 3 p.m. is the time when Abdul sells. So there is a definite drop of price from 10 to 3, which we can be sure of. Now uh, let's let's look at what other things we can deduce. We also know that there was an increase in share price during the closing hour uh, from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So definitely we know that the price from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. increased. So definitely uh, 3 p.m. is higher placed compared to 2. Now uh, let us see, it also says share price at 12 noon were lower than the opening price. Uh, so we can say that compared to 10, the prices at 12 had come down. Now, uh, let us uh, consider, uh, since, since there is a drop from 10 to 12, let's, let us consider Emily. Now, Emily uh, bought at 10 and sold at 12 when the prices were lower, which means she made a loss in this transaction. Now, definitely we know that Emily have made profit throughout the day when we take the day as a whole. So, definitely in the next transaction, she has and she has gained more than what she has lost in the first transaction. That's why she's overall made a profit. So, uh, if if let's say X was the drop in 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 uh, share price from 10 to 12, then definitely uh, from 1 to 3, uh, there is an appreciation which is more than X, right? Or I can say it is X plus Y. So, when I compare uh, the price at 1 p.m. with the price at 3 p.m., I can definitely say that the rise here is X plus Y, which is definitely more than X. Now, uh, if, you, if, if, you, if we see, uh, uh, we, can, we, can, we can definitely say that, uh, you know, 1 p.m. Le the price at 1 p.m. is less than that at 10 p.m. because 3 p.m. is less than that at 10 and 1 is x plus y below 3 whereas 12 is just x below 10. So overall 1 has to be definitely, definitely below 10. Now, uh, now let us look at Dane, what, what Dane is doing. Uh, Dane is buying equal number of units at 10, 11 and 12 and selling the same packets of units at 1, 2 and 3. Now we know that uh, that the prices at 3 p.m. were less than at 10 a.m. So if I consider whatever Dane bought at 10, he sold at 3 since the number of units are equal, I can equate anyone. He made an overall loss in this particular transaction. Now, similarly, uh, if I if I compare if I compare 12 and 1, then also I can see that 1 has to be definite. The price at 1 has to be definitely less than the price at 12, because again 1 is x plus y below 3, whereas 12 is just x below 10, and I know 3 is already below 10. So therefore, 1 has the price at 1 has to be lower than the price at 12. Hence, uh, I can say when I compare from 12 to 1, he also made a loss. But overall, he's made a profit, which means if I compare uh, the transaction, the, uh, the, the packet which he bought at 11 and sold at 2 p.m., if I consider it to be the same, which is the only one left, he definitely has to make a profit, which means and, and this profit has to, you know, uh, offset, offset the loss which he made in the other two parts of the transaction. And hence, uh, the price at 11 has to be lower than the price at 2 p.m. So, I, I get a relation here 
that the price at 11 has to be definitely less compared to the price at 2. Now, if, if, if this is perfectly clear, I think uh, solving the two questions which, which are next is a very easy job. Uh, let's see what are those questions. The first question says, uh, when was the share price highest? Uh, very clearly from our, our diagram, we can see that the share price was highest at 10 a.m. Hence, the correct option is 10 a.m. Uh, let's look at the next question. Uh, which of the following is necessarily false? Um, it says, the first one says, share price was at its lowest at 2 p.m. Let's look at our data. Let's look at what we have calculated. Uh, definitely, we know that the share price at 2 p.m. is higher than the share price at 11 a.m. So, this statement is necessarily false. And, and therefore, I have the, uh, the first one statement is necessarily false. Then it says share price was at its lowest um, at 11 a.m. Uh, can I say that from the figure? That share price was least at 11 a.m.? No, I, I, I cannot say because it might be the 1 p.m. price which is lowest. So, I cannot be absolutely sure that the lowest price is 1 p.m. or it is um, 11 a.m. Hence, uh, hence, I cannot say anything about this. Uh, let's, let's see the next option. It says share at price at 1 p.m. was higher than the share price at 2 p.m. Let's see. If that is true, uh, we can see here that the share price at 1 p.m. and the share price at 2 p.m. Um, we can uh, we, we cannot really compare, we do not have the comparison here uh, directly, so we cannot say anything about this. Let us let's, let's look at the next option. The fourth option, option says the share price at 1 pm was higher than the share price at 12 noon. 1 is greater than 12. Is 1 greater than 12? No, definitely not. We have already asserted that 1 has to be lower then the share price at 12, hence statement 4 is also necessarily false and, and, and this is where the contradiction is coming in this question. We have both option 1 and option 4 correct. So, uh, that is that's the uh, solution for this particular question. Uh, both the options uh, fetch you good marks as far as CAT is concerned.